dual county league has had some very good players come through and had some you know we've been we've had a couple teams two or three teams that were strong but this year we're very, the whole league is pretty strong uh carolyn swords came through when asia was a freshman and she signed with boston college also but asia's been a an all-star an all-league player for her freshman and sophomore years last year she was the dual county most valuable player um, she was also a Lowell Sun co-player of the year last year, and she's also a Boston Blue Ball Scholastic. Uh, she's excellent. Uh, she's very strong. She is very committed. Uh, she's actually an excellent close-range shooter. She has very good post moves. Um, good free throw shooter, and a dedicated team player. She's probably been one of our best all-around players we've had here since I've been here. I made varsity as a freshman, so I've been here all four years. I did a lot, and I knew that I wanted to keep playing. And I also was motivated by, like, I knew if I could go and play at school, like in college, it would be a lot easier for my, like, parents, and they wouldn't have to pay, and it would be, like, a really, like, take a huge load off their shoulders, because they already paid for everything already. And my dad, like, is basically the one who, like, pushed me. My dad played basketball in high school and college, and I did dance for like the first half of my life till I was like 11, or I was like 10. And then my dad didn't want me to do dance anymore because he wanted me to play basketball, so he started me. And then I wasn't good at all, but then I just like got good and like eight, like around the eighth grade I got a lot better. So, and then I started liking it more, so I just played all the time. She was pretty good as a freshman, but yes, I mean, uh, she has gotten better every year. And a lot of it has to do with more the, the work that she has put in over the summer. I mean. I'd like to take credit for uh, some of her skills, but that's not the case. I mean, she's really worked hard at becoming a better player. She worked very hard in the summers and in the off season in her AAU team. During the summer, I do another basketball team, and we go to like tournaments. That's where like coaches are and stuff. So they're like tournaments, but they're like showcase the teams play against each other. And coaches, like college coaches, just come and watch like a ton of college coaches. They just come and watch the games and like they look. They like basically are looking for players at the tournament. Once they like are interested, they'll send a letter and say like they're interested, and they'll send you some like stuff about the school, like a booklet or something, and then like a questionnaire thing and you fill it out and send it back and then like you, you like can start contacting the coach and like going on visits and stuff. Well, I went to visit and I met like the coach and the team and stuff and I basically narrowed it down to Stonehill and Bucknell and that's in Pennsylvania and I don't know I like Stonehill because it was closer to my house and I like the coach and the team was all really nice and it's also division two and like division one is like it's a it's like a lot it's a lot harder and it's a lot more commitment, but Division Two is a pretty big commitment as well. It's just like you can be involved in more stuff, and it was like choosing between going to Division One and maybe not playing that much and going to Division Two and like getting a lot of time to play in the game, which, which is what I wanted. So it was like at the end of August, and I had already been to visit. I stayed overnight for two days and I had visited like four times before that and I like really got to know the players and, and the coaches and I really liked it and they offered me a scholarship and then I accepted in August and then I just applied like last month but that so, since I like made a verbal agreement I only had to apply to that school so it made the college process a lot easier. Basketball we don't have a lot of scholarship athletes but there are some that I'd say one about every five or six years I and mean, we have a pretty strong program it's it's kind of rare. We have several players who are playing Division Three now, and that's pretty good. But uh, you know, we don't. It's not very many Division One players come through Massachusetts public schools in the first place. So it's kind of rare, and it's it's neat to see somebody sign up too because it is it is a pretty big honor. I was really like like caught off guard, and it's like exciting, and it takes a huge. It's like a big relief. Like, it takes a load off your shoulders. So it was really a big moment definitely saw it coming. I mean, I think that uh, she's a very good player. And I think that if she was 6'3", instead of 5'10", or 5'9", whatever she is, I think that she probably would have signed with a Division One school. Um, she was getting looked at by Division One schools, and she scored, I think, she scored more than 2,000 points here, which is, you know, Basically, she averaged almost 25 points a game from the time she was a freshman, so that's a ridiculously high number that honestly nobody was. Besides Stonehill, it was like Bucknell University, um, St. Anselm, UMass Lowell, 
Um, and then some like Division three school. I can't really remember off the top of my head. Hold on, give me a second. A couple other ones. It wasn't like a ton. I was trying to keep my list down like pretty short. And the league that I was playing in for for my like other season was it had like a lot of good people on it. And the tournaments I was playing in had a lot of good people on it. So it's like hard to get noticed when you're like because it's like ten people on the court all the time trying to be noticed by people. So, it's like a competition between like everyone, so it all depends on how you play like that day. So. And she made an excellent choice of choosing Stonehill. I think that uh, you know she's going to make an immediate impact there. I think she's going to be a very good player for them. They're a very good conference. Their division two is very strong basketball, and I think she's going to be a really good player there.